Have you ever wondered if we're alone in the universe? A question that has puzzled humanity for centuries, sparking countless debates, theories, and of course sightings of unidentified flying objects or UFOs across our planet. The term UFO is often associated with extraterrestrial life, but it's important to remember that it simply refers to any airborne object that cannot be immediately identified. This ambiguity has fueled a global fascination, a curiosity that transcends borders and cultures. From the highlands of Scotland, to the vast expanses of the Australian outback, from the bustling metropolises of Japan, to the serene countrysides of India, people have reported seeing things in the sky that they just can't explain. Over the years, these UFO sightings have brought with them a mix of fear, intrigue, and skepticism. There are those who believe these sightings are proof of life beyond Earth, while others insist they're nothing more than optical illusions, military experiments, or even hoaxes. This controversy has only served to deepen the mystery, making the quest for the truth even more compelling. It's 1947 and a private pilot named Kenneth Arnold reports seeing nine strange objects flying at high speed near Mount Rainier. Picture this. A clear summer day, the hum of a small plane engine, a lone pilot scanning the skies. Suddenly his eyes catch something unusual. Nine objects gleaming in the sunlight are moving at an incredible speed across the azure sky. They're not like any aircraft he's familiar with. Their movements are too swift, too synchronized. This is the moment that would catapult the world into a new era of fascination, speculation, and, yes, a bit of fear. The birth of UFO sightings. Arnold's account was riveting, with his description of the object's movements, like a saucer skipping across water, sparking the term that has since become a staple in pop culture, flying saucer. This was the first widely reported UFO sighting, and it had a profound and lasting impact. It ushered in an age of curiosity about what lies beyond our atmosphere and whether we are truly alone in this vast universe. The public reaction was a mix of awe and apprehension. The media went into a frenzy, splashing headlines about Arnold's encounter across newspapers worldwide. The incident sparked a wave of similar reports, with people from all walks of life claiming to have seen these mysterious flying objects. It was as if Arnold's sighting had given them permission to speak up, to share their own strange experiences without fear of ridicule. But it wasn't just the public that was captivated. The United States government took notice, too. The sighting led to the creation of Project Blue Book, a series of systematic studies of unidentified flying objects conducted by the United States Air Force. It was a clear indication of the seriousness with which these sightings were being taken, a stark contrast to the dismissive attitudes of earlier times. And this was just the beginning. The floodgates had opened. The world was now on high alert, eyes turned skyward, waiting for the next sighting, the next piece of the puzzle. The age of UFO sightings had begun, and our perception of the universe would never be the same. Fast forward to the same year, a ranch in Roswell, New Mexico becomes the epicenter of UFO folklore. It was July 1947 when a local rancher discovered unidentifiable debris in his sheep pasture. Reports of a crashed flying disc quickly spread. The U.S. military, however, had a different story to tell. They claimed it was merely a conventional weather balloon. Despite their explanation, speculation about extraterrestrial activity ran wild, fueled by the military's seemingly hasty cleanup operation and the alleged recovery of alien bodies. As years turned into decades, the Roswell incident has been revisited and reinterpreted countless times. Official investigations have been conducted, books have been written, and the public's fascination with the event has never waned. The incident has become a cultural phenomenon, sparking ongoing debates among skeptics and believers alike. Despite the military's statements, many continue to question what really happened at Roswell. The mystery of Roswell remains unsolved, but UFO sightings continue to multiply. Jumping ahead to 1989, Belgium becomes the stage for one of the most notable mass UFO sightings. This event, known as the Belgian Wave, held the world in a tight grip of fascination and fear. For months on end, thousands of citizens across the small European country reported seeing strange lights in the sky. The lights, often triangular in formation, were a baffling sight that refused to be ignored. But what truly sets the Belgian Wave apart from other UFO sightings is the sheer volume of witnesses. From November 1989 to April 1990, over 2,000 people reported seeing the same eerie spectacle. 
the sightings were so widespread and consistent that they couldn't be brushed aside as mere illusions or misinterpretations. The Belgian wave was further intensified by the release of a single infamous photograph. The image, showing a triangle of lights against a dark sky, became a symbol of the event. It was widely circulated in the media and sparked heated debates among skeptics and believers alike. But despite numerous investigations, the origins of the photo remained elusive. The Belgian military also took an active role in the phenomenon. Military radar picked up unexplained activity, and two F-16 fighter jets were scrambled to investigate. The pilots reported that the unidentified object was able to accelerate and change direction at unfathomable speeds, leaving them in its wake. Yet, despite the military involvement and the multitude of eyewitness accounts, the Belgian wave remains a puzzle. The government, the military, and the scientific community were never able to provide a conclusive explanation. Conspiracy theories flourished, with speculations ranging from secret military projects to extraterrestrial visitors. And there lies the allure of the Belgian wave. It's a reminder that we're just a small part of a vast, largely unexplored universe, and there's so much we don't yet understand. It's a testament to the enduring human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of truth. Despite the intrigue, no official explanation was ever given, leaving the Belgian wave shrouded in mystery. And so, the story of the Belgian wave continues to captivate, a tantalizing question mark in our quest to understand the unknown. As we entered the new millennium, UFO sightings took a dramatic turn. The dawn of the 21st century brought with it a surge in sightings that were more widespread and better documented than ever before, sparking a renewed interest in the unexplained. One of the most notable incidents occurred in the early months of the millennium. The Phoenix Lights, as they came to be known, were a series of widely sighted unidentified lights observed in the skies over Arizona, Nevada, and the Mexican state of Sonora in March of 2000. Witnesses reported a massive V-shaped object with lights forming an unmistakable pattern, silently gliding across the night sky. The event lasted for several hours, and despite official explanations of military flares, many remain unconvinced. Fast forward to the year 2006, when a saucer-shaped object was reported hovering over one of the busiest airports in the world, O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. Witnesses, including airport staff and pilots, reported seeing a metallic, disc-shaped object hovering over gate C-17. The object shot up into the sky at high speed, puncturing the cloud cover and leaving a clear blue hole in its wake. These incidents, among countless others, have left an indelible mark on public opinion. They've sparked a wave of curiosity and inspired a new generation of ufologists, eager to uncover the truth behind these unidentified flying objects. The advent of the internet and smartphones has made sharing and documenting these sightings easier than ever, leading to a wealth of data for researchers to sift through. As we continue to gaze at the stars, the question remains, what are these unidentified flying objects? Are they visitors from another world, top secret military technology, or simply misunderstood natural phenomena? Regardless of the answer, one thing is clear. The fascination with UFOs is not waning. If anything, it's stronger than ever. As we continue to gaze at the stars, the question remains, what are these unidentified flying objects? From the first sighting in 1947 to the mysteries of the new millennium, the UFO phenomenon persists. Across the globe, from the deserts of Roswell to the skies over Belgium, unidentified flying objects have sparked intrigue, debate, and a relentless quest for understanding. We've journeyed through the birth of UFO sightings, navigated the shadowy waters of the Roswell incident, rode the waves of the Belgian UFO frenzy, and stepped into the new millennium, where sightings continue to baffle us. These enigmatic apparitions in our skies have become an enduring part of our global narrative, a puzzle that we, as a species, are yearning to solve. They've been dismissed as hoaxes, explained away as weather balloons or military aircraft, yet many remain unexplained, keeping the door of possibility ajar. Are we alone in the universe? The answer remains elusive, but the proof, it seems, is out there.